Welcome to the Untold Odysseys, Eureka Story, Episode 7, Stoking the Coals. Oh, there is so much happening right now that I, don't, I just don't know where to start. Bargain with the ruler of the dead, a loss too great to bear, a great battle to witness. Only then will lovers be reunited again. That is a good place to start, then. With the fight with Aphrodite, Hades, and Persephone, and how you had to go down to tell them to move to Olympus, so that they would not cause an extravagant amount of death. Yeah, that happened. What do I do? Do I continue my quest? Do I stay and wait? Amberstein's house? Maybe I can find some peace here. What are you doing here? Wait, I remember you. You are that girl that threw herself onto my dead wife. I am Eureka. I am trying to find out who killed Amberstein. Leave. There is no need for this nonsense, child. I need to finish this sword before the storm hits so I can pay for my wife's funeral. I am not a child. I am just a woman trying to discover the truth of what happened, and I am getting close to it. Whether you like it or not, I will find out who did this to Amberzine. And I am starting to think you fully had something to do with it. Why would I have anything to do with what happened to her? I may not have loved her yet, but... It would come in time, and she was worth much more than one would think. She was worth more than you by far. You are nothing in the eyes of those who matter. You have brought death upon this house, you sorceress. That is a screech owl, which is a sign from Hades himself. He would only send those for whom he personally wants in the underworld. I am aware. I have met the lord of the underworld myself. You lie, you witless pest. See? The owl says you must stop and listen to me. I listen to no woman. The truth is already known about what happened to my wife. She was burned by the god of the forge himself. Why can you not accept that? It means too much to me. What do you care? You meant nothing to her. You had no idea about our relationship. At least I cared enough to know her name. What makes you believe I do not? You only call her your wife, and not by name. If I am wrong, tell me her name. We are long friends, and I knew her better than you. Her name was... Ambrosia. No wonder your love never formed. Her name was Ambrosine. And you call me witless? You did not even know your wife's name. You know nothing, child. I am a man, much older than you, and I have seen the world. I know more than you. But I do not understand why you are still here. I am still looking for the truth. Why should I believe that you did not kill her? Hephaestus would not allow me to commit such an act by his hearth. He is a strong and powerful god that would want his heart to remain sacred. Maybe you were convinced that she was in love with another and burned her to make sure she could never break your marriage. Maybe she had already broken our marriage. I had only hunches, and I would not have burned her over hunches. She was worth so much to me. Do you have any idea what she cost me? 500 drachmas. I paid 500 drachmas for a wife that died within three months. To me, she cost more than there are souls in Hades. Did you love her? More than you will ever know. It was you. You brought on the death of my wife. You will burn too. We did nothing. She pushed me away once she was your wife. I asked for one last meeting to say goodbye. And that's when I found her dead. I do not believe you. You are the reason I am out 500 drachmas. This is why women are useless. We are not useless! The relation of men to women is by nature a relationship of superior to inferior. I can guarantee you somebody will quote that one day. I think I just proved I am superior in strength. So maybe I am the man and you are the woman. Leave my house now, or I will call the guards. Ooh, she has a nasty right hook. That looked like it hurt. 
Good for you, Eureka. She cannot hear you. Speaking of which, what happened to the arguing? Uh, I wasn't paying attention to the other gods. Why not? Uh, I have to deal with them for all eternity. It gets boring. A war between the gods is boring, is it? Hades, what are you doing here? I just came to tell you to pay attention to the story. Something big is about to happen. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I have lost Ambrosine. I have lost Dentra. What am I to do now? You can always go to the Forge of Hephaestus. Dentra? You're alive! I guess I am. Weird. I am so happy to see you. How are you back? Dad brought me back for Mom. And for you. I missed you so much. Speaking of missing, I met Amberzine in Hades. She misses you. She wants me to tell you how much she loves you. So, Dad, huh? Silence. Tune in every Tuesday and Thursday at 12.15 and 4.45, or go to theaterofthemindcompany.webs.com. Theater is spelled T-H-E-A-T-R-E. Thanks for listening to this episode of The Untold Odysseys, the story of Eureka.